calculate this one prepare this one so by looking at the problem itself you can get to know what kind of problem it is whatever contribution made by employee we will not consider so 216000 into 40% it is 86000 400 now how to make it gross very simple whatever already deducted you add it back whatever medical bill it is given it is taxable there is no exemption now hello everyone this is your other sir lecture in vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence so we are in the session 8 as well as last session of your topic called income from salaries now in your income tax income from salary we have done almost more than 10 problems now in today's session we will do two problems along with solutions now whatever concept class i told you every class i used to do concept sheet now in this almost we have done all the concepts as i told you whatever further the problems we will do the on the same concept we will work out the first slide it will be your agenda the agenda is very simple first will be concept next will be problems next these are your concept class now in this First, we'll go back to your question. In the question, wherever you find difficult or wherever you need concept or any information, we'll come back to this slide. I'll explain you those things. Problem number 13. From the following particular of Sri Balakrishna, working at a firm at Jaipur, compute his taxable income from salary for the previous year 2019 and 2020. Remember, the first line also very important. Why? Because in case of accountancy or cost accounting, the first line we usually will not read. Why? Because it is obvi obviously what will be there, calculate this one, prepare this one. So by looking at the problem itself, you can get to know what kind of problem it is. Now, but in income tax, each and every line important. Why? Because while calculating HRA, rent, house rent allowance. Now, which place he belongs to? That is also very important. Because if he belongs to Chennai, Mumbai, Kolkata, Delhi, then it will be 50% of his salary. In case of other than these four places, we consider as 40% of salary. Clear? So that's why every line very important in income tax. Next, these are the informations available to do problem. Now, in this, we have basic salary, contribution to recognized provident fund. As per this, basic salary, you know, just we multiply and write. Now, Contribution to recognized provident fund. As I told you, whatever contribution made by employee, we will not consider. Whatever contribution made by employer, we will consider. Again, I'll repeat, whatever contribution made by employee, we will not consider. Whatever contribution made by employer, we will consider. Now, in this, Contribution to recognize provident fund, we will not consider. Now, contribution made to by employer, we will consider in this. He has contributed 26,310. Now, next, interest on PF, as I told you, up to 9.5% it is exempt. Above 9.5%, it will be called as taxable then. House rent allowance. House rent allowance and rent paid they have given. This is for HRA calculation. Will come later. Now, medical allowances 50,000 and your medical expenses 42,000. Remember, whatever medical expenses and allowances which are fully taxable, there is no exemption. If it is approved by your income tax department, then we call it as exemption. They have not mentioned anything about approval. Now, 
free service of water and gas as i told you any servant garden gardener sweeper water gas power anything which is provided by employer we call it as taxable then he was provided with a cook whose salary was borne by the employer so whatever salary paid to the cook has to be taxable these things we call it as perquisites non monetary benefit so it is not by cash by benefits now he claims the following deduction so that particular who is that so shri balakrishnan now balakrishnan asking that just assume that you are the income tax officer or auditor auditor so he is asking you these two can i take it as deduction like whatever your income from salary comes can i minus these two so we'll check that first one 700 in connection with purchase of books you cannot take so as per income tax you are not supposed to take whatever book purchased you cannot consider as deduction next 600 as tax on employment whatever tax paid on employment you can take it as exemption or deduction clear yes now up to this we completed next computation of taxable income from salary for the assessment year 2020 and 2021 next first one is your salary under this salary what is your salary as per the calculation as per calculation basic salary 18000 per month so how much 18000 into 12 will be your salary 18000 multiplied into 12 you will get your salary clear yes next your contribution to recognize provident fund as i told you employee contribution will not consider only will consider employer contribution i'll come back to that medical allowances fully taxable you have to take 50000 as taxable then house rent allowance this we will do we have to do calculation for that house rent allowance rent h r a we'll do calculation for that i'll go to your concept sheet so that we will work out h r a now how to calculate h r a now it is very simple already we have done just it is a recall now so this will be particular this will be amount and again it will be amount now the first one first one will be your hra so how much hra it is given so hra it is given it is 20 4000 hra it is given 24000 hra it is 24000 now less list of the following list of the following list of the following now how to calculate this very simple first one actual hra received actual hra received so how much it is 24000 copy paste this is done clear we'll go to second one b b is what the second one is 40% of salary why we have taken 40% why because he is not residing in chennai mumbai kolkata delhi remember this chennai mumbai kolkata delhi this is very important why because other than these four cities we take 40% in case of these four cities we take 50% now chennai mumbai kolkata delhi how to remember shortcut cm kd now don't take it personally it is just to remember shortcut cm kd chennai mumbai kolkata delhi now 
So we done with that 40% of salary. This is very important. Salary means what? What is salary? For that also you have definition like salary is equal to basic DNS allowance. It must be with adjustment and the last one will be commission. Commission must be percentage on turnover. This is nothing but your salary. Now, basic salary you have to consider DA in bracket they should give like it is a part of your salary, part of your salary benefit, part of your retirement benefit. If they mention like that, then only we can consider DA for HRA or else we go with only basic. Now, commission, we are not supposed to take all commission. In the bracket, they should mention that percentage on turnover, then only we should consider. Now, add everything. If you add everything, that will be your salary. As per this problem, you have basic salary of 18,000 per month. 18,000 into 12, 2,16,000. Now, is there anywhere DNS allowance in this problem? No. Is there anywhere uh, commission in this problem? No. We have only salary, 18,000 into 12, 2,16,000. Now, as per this, 2,16,000 multiplied with 40%. So this is for this. And we'll go for C, third one. So third one is what? Rent paid minus, minus 10% of salary. Remember this. Now, as per this, we'll go for calculation. 2,16,000 into 40%, how much you will get? So you will get around 86,400. So 2,16,000 into 40%, it is 86,400. Now, rent paid minus 10% of salary. I'll go back to that. So how much rent paid? Rent paid is 48,000. Now, rent paid 48,000. 10% of salary, 2,16,000 multiplied with 10%. It will be 21,600. So what will be your answer? 26,400. 26,400. Now, out of this, whichever is less, whether it is 24,000, 86,000 or 26,400, which is less as per this calculation, your 24,000 is least. Now, 24,000, take it outer column. 24 minus 24, what is your answer? 0, 0, 0. So, your answer is nil. So the list itself you are actually received. Now, as per your answer, see the HRA is nil. So it is not received. Now, employer's contribution to RPF excess of 12%. How to calculate? Simple. What is your salary? 2,16,000 multiplied with 12%. How much you will get? So how much he received? 26, 320 he was received. Now, if you calculate, it will be 25, 9, 20. Now, how much he received? 26,320. 26,320. If you calculate this, you will get 25,920. As per 12% calculation, you are supposed to receive how much? 25,920. But how much you received? You received more. How much you received more? You received 26,320. Means you received around 400 rupees extra. 
this 400 we call it as your excess of employment contribution fund any doubt no doubt next your water and gas water and gas it is around 12000 taxable then your cook charges it will be 70 to whatever salary paid to the cook will be call it as perquisites it is taxable then add everything you will get 350400 from that two things you have to minus one you have to remember standard deduction 50000 along with that you have 600 professional tax so are your employment tax minus these two 50600 your answer is 299800 any doubt no doubt your final answer 299800 this is your taxable salary any doubt no hr calculation they have done here you can go as per this or else whatever we have done in the concept sheet that also anything is okay better whatever i have done in the concept sheet that is easy to understand. Now, they have mentioned two fifth of the salary. Don't worry. What is just two by fifth? So it is nothing but your forty percent of salary. That forty percent also you can call it as two by five. Any doubt? No. So this I'll go back to your previous slide so that you can take a screenshot. This will be your concept class. Your problem number thirteen. Continuation, this will be your solution for problem number 13 and this will be your final note for this. So now we'll move for the next question. It will be problem number 14 as well as last problem of the session. Now in this, Sri Chaudhary is purchase officer in company of Kota. He furnished the following particulars regarding his income for previous year 2019 as well as 20. Now, net basic salary 156400 Remember, they have given net. We don't want net. We want gross salary. We'll come back to that. Now, 156400 which is, which is after deducting 20,000 as contribution and 3,600 as bungalow rent now in this remember if they have given net make it gross if they have given net make it gross how to make it gross very simple whatever already deducted you add it back whatever already deducted you add it back i'll give you a simple example your salary is twenty thousand. your salary is 20 this we call it as gross salary out of 20,000, 2,000 they have deducted because two days you are absent. Clear? How much you got now? 18,000. In the 3,000 they have deducted because you have taken advance in the last month itself. How much you got? 15,000. Out of 15,000, you have done some damage to the company. For that, there is a penalty of 1,000. How much you got? 14,000. Now, your gross salary 20, net salary 14. Why? Because they have deducted everything. What is your net salary? 14,000. Now you tell me what is your gross salary. What you will do? Whatever deducted, you add up. Now, 14,000, you add that 1,000 penalty will become 15. You add that 3,000, you have taken advance. 15 will become 18,000. You are absent for two days, 2,000 minus. That 18,000 plus 2, 20. Clear? How to make it gross? How to make it net? Now, in this, whatever they have given, you add it back, you will get gross salary. Clear? Yes. Now, traveling allowance for tour. Remember, it is completely exempted. Any allowances given for tour as a traveling, it is exempt. Now, reimbursement of medical bills. Whatever medical bill it is given, it is taxable. There is no exemption. Now, he lives in bungalow belonging to the company. Remember, population is 15 lakh. If you get like this, it is nothing but rent-free accommodation. It is what? Rent-free accommodation. Now, in this, 
the population is 15 lakh means what like in rent free accommodation if 25 lakh and above 10 lakh to 25 and below 10 lakh this will be 15 percent this will be 10 percent and this will be 7.5 percent any doubt no in this 10 to 25 it is 10 percent means how much is your population 15 lakh 15 lakh comes where it will come in between 10 lakh to 25 lakh what is the percentage it is 10 percent any doubt no doubt in this so population is 15 means its fair rent is 6000 these things are not required only what is the population you have to take and how much he has paid? He has paid 3,600. What is the market value? What? Those things are not required. Now, along with that, he was paid with, he was given with gardener and cook. Whatever gardener and cook he has, he has to pay tax. Why? Because these are perquisites. No exemption. Gardener, no exemption. Multiply and write. Cook, no exemption, multiply and write. Servant, no exemption, multiply and write. So anything like uh, uh, fridge given, everything, anything is given, just write. So no exemption for that. Now, and also 6,000 for electricity, taxable. 12,000 for water bill, taxable. Everything has to be taxable. Clear? Yes. Continuation. He has been provided with a large car. Remember, I already explained you this. Along with that, he was provided with a driver also. So what is the concept? Simple. If it is a car, if it is a large and if it is a small. Now, in this, for car, you have to pay 2400 in this, you are supposed to pay 1,800. Now, along with this, you have to pay for driver 900. Here, 900. It will come 3,300 into 12. This is 2,700 into 12. Remember this, this will be your calculation. Clear? Yes. Now, this is done. Now, deposit, yeah. The following amount word, deposited in his provident fund. Now, own contribution 20,000. As I told you, whatever your contribution, we don't want. Now, company's contribution 20,000, you have to consider. So we'll calculate, we'll let you know what will be the answer. Interest 9.5, as I told you, if it is 9.5 means, no, no need to worry, no tax. Why? Because if, if it is more than 9.5, then it is taxable now till now whatever problems we have done everything is 9.5 only sir if 10 percent comes what we should do i'll show you the calculation what is the amount it is around 23,000. i'll go back i have space here i'll use that now so it is problem 13. so we'll use it here only in case in case if it is 10.5%, what we have to do? Now, what is the limit? 9.5. How much extra you got? 1%. Now, what is the amount? 23,000. What is the extra? 1% divided by, what is the actual? 10.5. This will be your calculation. Clear? So, whatever amount you will get, that has to be taxable. Now, if it is 11%, then 11 minus 9.5, you will get 1.5. Same, 23,000 into 1.5 divided by 11.5. Any doubt up to this? No doubt. So it is not 11.5, it is 11. Because your calculation is what? 11. Clear? Yes. Now, in this, we will not do any calculation. Why? Because it is 9.5 basic exemption. Now, deposit in PPF, we will not consider only bonus. We have to take compute his taxable income. Now, 
So his salary one lakh fifty six twenty three thousand six hundred. As I told you, the net we will make it gross. Now bonus sixty thousand. So employer contribution to RPF in excess of twelve percent. I'll go back. Your salary is how much? One lakh eighty thousand into twelve percent. How much you will get? Twenty one thousand six hundred. How much employer contributed? He contributed only twenty. Now, as per our calculation, twenty one six hundred. Then there is a shortage of thousand six hundred. If he paid more, then taxable. If he paid less, no tax. Then your answer will be how much? So it will be nil because there is no excess paid. Then your all perquisites are taxable. Now your reimbursement of medical bill taxable, gardener taxable, cook taxable. Then profit. Concessional rent. I'll come back later. Electricity bill taxable. Then water bill taxable. Car, as I told you, two thousand four hundred plus nine. It will be three thousand three hundred. Multiplied with twelve because it is a big car. Now this is also taxable. Total three lakh sixty one thousand minus fifty. Your answer is three lakh eleven thousand. Clear? Yes. Now I'll come back to this. Your concessional rent very simple. Your basic salary plus your bonus. The total is two lakh forty thousand. Two lakh forty on that ten percent. Why it is ten percent? I'll go back. See how much we have to take ten because population is only fifteen lakh. Now, so it will be ten percent. It will be twenty-four thousand minus whatever rent paid by him. So he paid. I'll show you that. See in the question they have given rent paid for bungalow three thousand six hundred. Whatever paid by him, we have to minus. Minus your final answer twenty thousand four hundred. Now twenty thousand four hundred is done. So reimbursement of medical bill is not exempt. Travelling allowance is exempt. Clear? Yes. I'll go back so that you can take a screenshot. So this will be your problem number fourteen. Continuation of your question. So this will be your solution part. Your solution, as well as your note. So this is all about your today's session. We done with your salary topic and whatever the remaining topic like leave and cashment, gratuity, pension, everything we will do in the coming sessions. Thank you.